shit ain't competition, all I see is me Still zip them up or lay down, you gotta take me off my feet It's that time, nigga Do great, this way, not that way Oh, man Alright, I got a question I wanna ask y'all, man I don't know, my gun on the um, on the screen froze, but And it is what it is, man I don't know who tuned in or not, but I got a question, man. For the people that have kids, do you think people without kids can give you advice on your kids, on, like, how to raise kids and stuff like that? I always, always want to, you know, talk about that for people who got kids. Because me personally, I believe that somebody that ain't got kids can give you advice. You don't know everything, and, and, and how you raise your kids – might be a little different how they was raised, you know what I'm saying? They might can give you a little pointers. They ain't going to tell you, like, oh, man, your kid, they can't tell you that your kid's bad as hell. Only you know if your kid's bad as hell, basically, is what I'm saying. So they might not know how your kids react to certain shit. But I feel like, you know, people can give pointers. But y'all be getting so defensive when people do that. Why y'all be doing that? I don't be understanding that. Because me personally, like, when I have kids, I, well, I, I'll say this. Before I get in a relationship, I was on a bandwagon of I never with my kids, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> hey, that shit changed real fast. You know what I'm saying? When you get kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, motherfuckers be bad as fuck. But I don't, I feel like a punishment, like where you, you know what I'm saying, have them stand on the wall type shit. I feel like that type of, like, you give a kid some books, some cans or something like that, you put them on the wall, tell them to hold their hands out, you know what I'm saying? That's going to hurt a lot more than a whooping. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you better not slide off that wall. You know what I'm saying? You could threaten them with the whooping then, but... Come on now. I ain't talking about like no standing in the corner, you know what I'm saying? It might hurt their feelings, but there ain't no real punishment as far as, you know what I'm saying, what's going to happen to them. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to give a fuck about that. Like, now you put me in the corner, niggas, away. What you going to do? I don't give a fuck about that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what they going to look at it like that. Hold on. Let me twist the chat. But I'm going to say this. So I got the shit on the TV screen, but my TV just fucked up. Randomly just fucked up. So the whole bottom half got like these stupid ass lines on it, motherfucker. So it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, I'll be, I be wanting to know that though. You know what I'm saying? If you got kids, comment your opinion. You feel me? What's up? What's up, B? Narrow whooping this joint. You know what I'm saying? What's up, man? I see, I see you on the highway driving and whatnot, man. You know what I'm saying? You can still tune in and listen a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Give a little input. <laughs> You feel me? Nothing major. You call in if you need to. The number on the screen. You know what I'm saying? Give you an opinion on, on what I'm talking about. That's all I'm saying. But, I mean, I can't keep going, you know what I'm saying? If I don't got nobody else to, you know what I'm saying? Give me some advice, you feel me? But I, I would say this, though, for growing up, I felt like whoopings didn't really do anything for me. Like, yeah, I was like, damn, I don't want to get another whooping, but it didn't ever stop me from, like, just totally not getting in trouble, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still did shit. But at the same time, like, I used to get whoopings for stupid shit, though, too. I think I was in class one day. I got a whooping for, uh, like, I've been, like, shoot paper balls and stuff like that into the trash can. So I did that. I got in trouble. I got rolled up. But I got a beating when I got home. Not a whooping. I got a beating. You know what I'm saying? Like, over there, I'm like, right, that wasn't even worth it. So when I think about all the stuff I got whoopings for, it really wasn't that serious to where I needed to get a whooping. <laughs> like, I can understand uh, maybe taking something away, you feel me? Like, hey, man, you can't be doing that. Or just a, just a good talking to. I mean, I know a lot of people don't get the lessons until they get older, you know what I'm saying? But still, like, a good talking to, hey, man, you can't be doing that, man. You know, you disrupt in class with that. I can, I, can, I can tell you, hey, man, everybody was doing it. I don't know why I was singled out. But, you know... And, and, and a lot of times, a lot of y'all don't really listen to y'all kids and hear what they actually have to say without just getting on their head. Y'all don't even give them a chance to explain themselves. It's just straight whooping, you know. And the one thing that I think I'm struggling with is telling your kids something and they just do it. It's always, why? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Like, you don't got to know the answer to every fucking thing. Everything don't need an answer. You know what I'm saying? Just do what I told you to. Really? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, go put your shoes on. Why? We finna go some, man, go put your goddamn shoes on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to know the answer to everything. 
You feel me? <laughs> like, what if I want to go, like, hey, I'm going to take my kids to the goddamn Chuck E. Cheese or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make it like a little surprise. But now you ask all these questions. I'm like, man, you want to go, man? You're you being too nosy. You don't even know me before you leave the house. But then there's another thing, though. Like, man, got to stop getting so annoyed with the little shit that kids do. Like, kids are being kids. So you can't just get annoyed by everything they do. Like, one thing, like, kids be playing, you know what I'm saying? Like, can't just be out here yelling at the kids or playing. Like, motherfucker, kids are loud. You was a loud ass kid. Like, you know that, you know what I'm saying? So you just can't be out here just angry and yelling at the kids for no fucking reason. But like, like, like one thing I say, like with my dad, for example, you know, he a pastor, and like little kids, you know how little kids be running around at the church and stuff like that. He be like, hey, let them, let them do what they do, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, like he said, as kids, that's what they gonna do. They gonna run around. You can't control them. And then when you try to stop them, they might just start yelling. Now you got a bigger problem than little kids running around. So you can, you can kind of. What up, my boy? I need to come get a, you know what I'm saying? A little chop ain't been over there in a minute, you know what I'm saying? It's been crazy lately, you feel me? But then again, you live like an hour away. You know what I'm saying? You want to live way the fuck out there. Like, why? Why you way out there? You know what I'm saying? But that's just all I'm saying about the, about the thing, though. You know what I'm saying? So be more patient with the children, man. Let the kids be kids, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to yell at them, man. Hey, slide on the podcast one day. You feel me? Um, whenever you're ready, man. Probably uh, you free next Thursday. You know, what I'm saying? we can do another episode next Thursday, man. I got somebody, got a new co-host finna slide on on a pie. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so oh, got another more viewers just coming in. Thoughts and opinions on. Uh, I forgot. Look, see, look, I'm bad. I'm bad even by myself. That's crazy. What was the topic again? Oh yeah, can people without kids have advice on on people with kids? Like, can they give you give them a uh, uh, advice. Ooh, I got another one for y'all. I wish I had some artists on here for uh to go back and forth. Why do black people get like why why are black people held to such a higher standard standard when it's come like when it comes to scamming? Like white people can scam all day. They can take care. They can they like when they did the PPP loan. You know what I'm saying? Like black folks on there. Hey y'all, stupid. Why y'all doing it? Y'all broke. Let motherfuckers do it. Fuck it. White people get away with this shit all the fucking time. Like white people get the scam. They get to do all kinds of shit. They get the money money launder. Nigga, white people are the blue the blue collar. Is it white collar? White collar. White collar crime. Like like kings around this motherfucker. Loyal to royalty and shit. So why come they get to do that? You know what I'm saying? But it's look. I mean, of course it's looked down on because it's a fucking crime. But still, like it's like when black people do it. It's like the lowest of the lowest. You know what I'm saying? Like we motherfuckers can't scam. Motherfuckers can't boost. Can't do nothing. But now, actually, I think I kind of answered my own question in the sense that uh, I feel like when black people do scams and shit like that, but it, I mean, it, it was when it comes to scamming the government. I mean, that's the main thing. But now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, why do black people scam their own people a lot? Like, that's why I feel like a lot of that come from. It's like, damn, man, we supposed to be, you know, on the same thing. Like, why you want to scam me for? Bring me into the goddamn scam. Let me, you know what I'm saying, get up on some motherfuckers. I believe so because if you don't kind of learn from other people and how you would treat your own if you had a child or kids, but it goes both ways for me. See, yeah. Uh, see, and like like me, I don't have no bio kids. So like me, I just can go by how I was raised. And like if I see somebody being crazy, you know what I'm saying, with that kid, I'd be like, hey, man, try this out or do this a different way. How the fuck are you going to tell me how to raise my kids? Like, you know, like relax. I'm just giving you a little friendly advice. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you got to take it if you don't want it, but you ain't got to be crazy like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get it. Motherfuckers need to relax a little bit. Just just take it easy. Just take it easy. Just a little advice, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, back to what I was saying, like, why do we scam our own people so much? You feel me? So I, I, I look at it this way. So let's just say if I was still doing music videos, which I really don't do them no more. My thing is I hate when the people that you so-called fuck with will come and, all right, let's just say, for example, I'm doing my regular video price, $400. I'm doing $275 right now. You know what I'm saying? Two, $250. let us just say $250. Hey, bro, you can't, you can't give me for the $150 for the $100. Like, I'm already doing a deal. You know what I'm saying? Even when I was doing four parts, you wasn't fucking with me. There's only one nigga I can count that has ever Fucking did anything with me full price And that's fuller Nobody else has ever did that You know what I'm saying Like consistently anyway I'm gonna just say consistently Like it don't matter what the price was When I was doing Whatever Free 75 100 150 Whatever My niggas always came through You know what I'm saying But 
Niggas always trying to get over on each other. How you my homeboy trying to get over on me? You feel me? You just want to support my shit. Because if, if I go up, we go up. You feel me? It ain't just me, 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 me. You know what I'm saying? But motherfuckers don't see it that way. And that's the same way I feel like with the scam shit. You know what I'm saying? And I said that about the gang stuff before, too. It was like, you control that side of town. I control this side of town. Instead of coming together, see how we can, you know what I'm saying, make everybody profitable in the hoods. Or, you know, we can just keep it in our, if you, you know, just black people, just keep it in, the, in our little circle. We want a war and, and take over each other's uh, uh, territory. Like, no, you don't got to do that. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. I don't understand why black people are always so much at odds. Like, it just don't make sense to me. Like, I swear we can all make money. <laughs> you feel me? Everybody ain't got to be in charge. Everybody can't be the head chef. Everybody can't be the owner. Somebody got to be the worker. But the thing is, when you got a good owner, you know what I'm saying, they pitching in to help you make sure everything ain't on you. But y'all don't see it that way. It's just always about me, 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 me. Come on, man. You got to get out of that me and think about we. I'm saying, speaking French on y'all. Oh, we. Je ne sais quoi. You feel me? <laughs> what, 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 what they be saying? Je parle français. You feel me? I know a little bit of French. You know what I'm saying? I study a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Throw a little something out there. Man, y'all ain't fucking with me. Matter of fact, let me go. Let me go to my sex game shit. I'm gonna bring a sex and relationship question up. I got lots of them motherfuckers. Y'all probably can't even see this shit. I got mad topics for sex and uh, relationships. Like, come on, man. I'm, I'm here, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I gotta ask this question too. Does oh I don't think I want to I think I want to say that one I think I want to say that one I got a question here we go right here I feel like women have lost the sexy walk and what I mean but you know you just be out you know what I'm saying you see a chick you be like dang she look good and that walk that walk ooh I feel like women nowadays walk ugly ugly walk like that's crazy like you know what I'm saying like why you why you walking like a like NBA young boy you feel me like why you doing that <laughs> what the fuck wrong with your feet, man? It's crazy. Like, come on, man. The walk is ugly. They either walk like NBA young boy, feet all in and shit, or they walk with their feet all the way out. Like, what is that? Is that a duck? Donald Duck ass walking that girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. What's that about? Motherfuckers don't want to be models no more. They want to be Instagram models. Just take pictures. Come on, y'all gotta get the walk back down. Ugly ass legs. You feel me? Cause y'all been sitting down just taking pictures. Stand up. You know what I'm saying? Walk. Walk the runway. Man, I'm finna start a new show, man. Visionary models. You feel me? I'm finna I'm gonna pay y'all twenty five dollars two weeks. You now I said that's a lot of money. You feel me? You know what you could do with that? Groceries? Box of zero? One, two, three, four. Couple boxes of zero, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. You feel me? That's it. I'm gonna get off of it though, man. I'm gonna get off of that. I'm gonna ask uh hmm, Mm, I don't know. I don't think I want to ask that because I ain't trying to start no wars. Now, y'all want something crazy or y'all want something tame? That's really what's, what we're talking about here. Because if y'all want something crazy, I give y'all a crazy ass topic, and that's just what that is. I think I'm going to give y'all something crazy. Let me see. What I got that's crazy here? Ooh. Getting a person after the whole phase. Have y'all ever dated somebody that's after their whole phase? I mean, you, I think you can kind of tell. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I don't. I don't know if everybody has ever had a whole phase. I think everybody has had a whole phase or close to it. You know what I'm saying? Of course, everybody's just ever fucking. But come on, man, that'd be the best when they after their whole phase. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They did all the freaky shit. They know all the tricks and shit like that. You feel me? Show me some tricks. Show me some freaky shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Versus the timid side jam. Like nobody want to I don't want to do that tonight <laughs> No not right now. I don't like that <laughs> Nobody want that You feel me Show me the energy you had When you was getting that train ran on you In the back of the, the Honda Civic You know what I'm saying In the back of that motherfucking uh, uh, Firebird God damn me What y'all got now? The Altima Y'all got the Altimas right Yeah in the back of that Altima You know what I'm saying What you was doing I don't know why I said y'all was getting the train ran on y'all in the whole phase, but I was just saying, you know, that's what the freakies. You know what's crazier when it blows your mind that the that you learned that certain people got a train ran on them. That is crazy. 
Motherfuckers, you just walk by every day like, oh, yeah, they cool. You know what I'm saying? The whole time they got a train run on them. You didn't, you didn't even know. You find out, you're like, damn, I didn't even know it was like that. That's crazy. And like, <laughs> I'm like, my high school crush, I ain't know she was into that freaky shit. They were like, yeah, she be doing anal and all. I'm like, what? Her? I couldn't even imagine her doing no shit like that. Like, that's crazy. It just blew my mind. Like, I couldn't even wrap my mind around that. That's freaky. Freaky. How? Speaking of whole phases, the reverse. Because you date somebody that's a virgin. I don't think I could. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine. I wouldn't want to do that. Like, having to teach somebody some shit. And that bring up another conversation I was having. When people, uh, like when you get with somebody that's freaky, but it's like a, 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 a fake freaky. They doing shit because you want them to do shit versus they doing shit because they want to do it. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? They be like, yeah, they, you know, they freaky. They like to try all kind of shit, but do they like to do that shit? That's a whole different game, you know what I'm saying? Versus a motherfucker that just like to do freaky shit, you know what I'm saying? Experiment, have fun during sex versus a motherfucker. Well, you know, I know you like this. You know, I'm going to do it because you like it, but I ain't really enjoying this shit. And they be the same people that don't understand some the folks that like to just have sex. It ain't always about the the, the climax. Sometimes sex is just fun, you know what I'm saying? You just want to do the act. You ain't got to finish the act. See, that's just y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't really about that life. You know what I'm saying? Y'all really ain't about that shit. Y'all be faking, perpetrating, scared to kick reality, express yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then I got I got a few people in here. Okay, we back down. Who the who is Bridget Richardson? What's going on, Bridget Richardson? Hold on, is it? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Hey, somebody call in, man. My bad, y'all. Doing a little, a little, uh, uh, sharing, cause it's caring. Pause. Hey, full of scared to get on here, cause I'm gonna ask some the tough questions. Let me see what else I got in my, uh, in my roller decks of 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 topics. Man, I ain't really got too much, you know. So I just wanted to get back on here so I can get back into the swing of it, cause it's been a minute since our podcast. It's been what, November fourth. November 4th. I think November 4th was the last episode. That was like a month and that was almost a month and two weeks ago. Or a month and a week ago. God damn. Something like that shit. Hold on. My mom's calling. Hello, mom. You're calling and you are on the podcast. How can I help you? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hello? Back you said what? Just back later. All right. You want to say hi to the people on the podcast? Bye. <laughs> Bye. Love you. Y'all moms don't call y'all during podcasts. You know what I'm saying? Y'all wouldn't even know. Hold on. Somebody else called because I need to see if my junk work. It wasn't working. It wasn't plugged up to the thing or something. See, look, it's been, it took me a minute to even set this joint up because it's been so long since I did this. I don't even know how to do this no more. Sheesh. I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, man. I got another question. Even though we talked about it before, I'll, I'll, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand. Let me get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? I got to get comfortable on here. I'm going to... Be like, this the therapy, therapy chair or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get real comfortable on y'all real fast. Talk to my people. So, like, what's with the obsession with, you know what I'm saying, posting your relationship and stuff like that on, on social media? Like, what does that do for you personally? Because y'all always into this, you know what I'm saying? I gotta share, share you with the world type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was y'all doing? 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? If you if we if I see you in public, you know, ski, you know what I'm saying? You with your with your mate, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that's that's them. You know what I'm saying? I know them. They they like or whatever. But I don't understand the whole if you don't post me, it's not real. 
uh, 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 saying, I, for lack of better words. I can't think of it right now. Like, I don't understand that part. Hey, I'm really comfortable right now. I see why Coco be doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I don't understand. Y'all see, you know what I'm saying? For the people that can't see me on the other on the other camera, you know what I'm saying? You, know what I'm saying? you feel me? Y'all see what I'm doing, the green with the green. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy, you feel me? I mean, I probably can't see me right there. Okay, yeah, there we go, there we go. Y'all know what I'm doing. Y'all y'all see what I'm doing here. You feel me? But, yeah. So, like, what's the obsession? Like, me, me personally, I've always been against you know what I'm saying? The whole posting anything. Like, I know I, I, I back in my younger days, I was doing shit like that. But I went through and even, like, actively removed all the kids off my page. Like, my, my nieces, nephews, little cousins, and stuff like that. Because I personally don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have, I will not want nobody posting my kids on social media. So, I'm like, yeah, I got to stick to that even for, for my family members. Let me go remove everybody off. It's just weird to me. And then, like, y'all didn't even see the scam to where uh, they was driving by people's houses, like, of graduating seniors. They got y'all full name because y'all got the pictures or whatever. They put the pictures out there. They got the full name of the seniors, and then they got the birth year. So that's just enough information that they need to steal their identity. Come on, man. That's crazy. Like, y'all don't be thinking about shit like that. Y'all just be so happy. Oh, look at my kids. Look at me. Look at me. I want pictures. I want likes. And I don't, I don't, I don't get that. Like what 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 is the the reason behind that? Like why are y'all so obsessed with posting shit? Shit don't y'all y'all ain't fucking with the privacy no more. Y'all posting twerk videos every five days. Y'all 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 ain't y'all got no decency. You know what I'm saying? Y'all give a fuck about yourself. Like I'm just I'm just asking. But that's just me just asking questions because I want to know the answer because it's shit I don't do. But I want to hear it from somebody that does it. Because for me, I'm thinking y'all just want attention when y'all post y'all kids. Y'all just want attention when y'all post y'all family. Because if it's, if y'all be like, oh, it's for the family members I got on there. Well, y'all ain't got a private group. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can keep it amongst y'all self. Y'all ain't got to worry about no creeps out there. But then when y'all get y'all get mad when a, when a motherfucking predator out there got y'all kids pictures. Y'all mad at the predator, but not mad at yourself for putting them on there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, your family members ain't got no phone? You can't send this shit to them or something? You ain't got an no inbox on there or something? That's all I'm saying. And speaking of family, just because we blood related don't make us family. I don't fucking know half of y'all niggas. I ain't seen some of y'all since I was like five years old. Who the fuck are y'all? I don't even kick it with y'all niggas. When I come to town, I'm hit y'all jack. Hey, what's going on? No, we don't even hang out. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is y'all niggas? But that's just my opinion on the family shit. But I'm saying though, like somebody give me an answer to the whole kid thing. I just need to know. The whole relationship, posting your, your relationship shit on, on social media. Because, like, what if you, you know what I'm saying, get cheated on and y'all break up? Because you know y'all like to post everything. Now you can't even break up. You can't even go through the, the heartbreaking pub in private. Because everybody know you done got cheated on. You know what I'm saying? Little Quan Quan from down the road and fuck five bitches. And you stayed and we all know. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Y'all don't want to keep that to yourself? You want everybody to know that happened? Cause we all know Lil Quan Quan, you feel me? That's all I'm saying. We all know. So, but I need to know from somebody who does it. Moment of silence. That's all there was. But I guess it ain't my business to know. But I was just curious. That's really all it was. Just a little curiosity. It is what it is, though. I got another question. Do y'all, <laughs> do y'all like, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how this to eat it. But I, all right, so let's just say, do y'all think about what y'all eat in relation to like how your party thing? Like me, I'm a person who hate like crazy smells. Like don't come in my, don't, don't come around me eating a bag of Doritos in a closed room. You know what I'm saying? Like you come in the bedroom, eat a bag of Doritos. Like, come on, I'm going to look at you. Like, are you, you serious right now? A bag of Doritos. <laughs> Why'd you bring this bowl of fucking chili in his room type shit? Nah, you could never thought you brought some chillings in here. No, my thing. A motherfucker eating a seafood bowl. I hate I hate that shit. First of all, I don't eat seafood bowls. And then I think you finna come in and in, in here and just 
Oh, wait, before I finish that, y'all know my mind be going faster than, than I can talk sometimes. So I'd be thinking. See, this is, this is y'all really watching me in real time is how I think and how I talk. So I'm trying to slow it down so I don't get too far away. You know what I'm saying? So mid-sentence, I just thought about something else. So that's another thing is you, uh, you eat something crazy and then you want to kiss your partner. How y'all feel about that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I just ate goddamn, uh, uh, goddamn, fucking. I don't even know. God, I'm trying to think of something that that smell crazy. <laughs> Cause you know that's my thing. Cause like when you watch movies, they be like, "Yeah, let's go out to eat," and they just fuck right at the eat. Like, bro, I don't want to eat that. I want to get. I want to tongue kiss you after we just got through eating. What if you still got food stuck in your teeth and shit? Now I'm tongue kissing you, and I got a steak on my damn tongue from you. That's gonna make me throw up. That's nasty. Motherfuckers is nasty, bro. And I'll be thinking about shit like that. Whenever whenever I go out to eat and shit, I'll be like, man, I hope motherfuckers don't try to tongue kiss me. And then what if, like I said, I don't eat seafood eat, eat seafood and shit like that, like uh, seafood boy. Like, you just ate crab and didn't want to kiss me after dinner. No, you got crab on your lips. I don't, I get that off? No. Why? Do this. Go to the bathroom. Get the soap. Get the soap on a paper towel. Scrub that shit first. Then, you know what I'm saying? Apply the, the chapstick. The Burt's Beeswax. You feel me? Then kiss me. <laughs> Don't kiss me after you just got through eating 10 pounds of crab. That's a lot of crab, huh? I don't know. I, I don't know if that's a lot of crab because I don't eat fucking crab. But I'm just just saying. That's just, just how I feel like. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just weird. So, we talked about a lot of shit. Let me see. Yeah, yeah that, that shit. And yo, 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 wait, 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 wait. Noisy eaters. I hate a motherfucker you can hear when they chewing, like. Like, I don't want to hear that. What, you ain't got no back teeth? <laughs> what the fuck is you doing? Why can I hear that? So you ain't got no back teeth? What the fuck you eating with your gum or something? Goddamn me. Motherfuckers is crazy. That is crazy. Put that shit away, man. Hold on, why? Why the motherfuckers is texting me, but I ain't want to call in, man? Y'all motherfuckers is tripping. I might have to. Uh, I'm saving my sex, th- my sex, th- sexscapes topics for sure. Now that we got a sponsor over there, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Joy Mo, you feel me? Got a sponsor on Sexscapes Podcast, you feel me? I'm gonna need y'all to go support that. The next time I do a sexscapes episode, I gotta do a whole little script. I gotta read all that shit and stuff. But oh man, it's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of shit going on over there. You feel me? I got to uh, say, what Coco at? Coco didn't let me hanging, y'all. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say nothing. You know what I'm saying? She left me hanging and shit. But it is what it is, man. Big million, hey man, what you call in, brother? Call in, brother, man, and give me your top five uh, local artists. I bet you won't do it, man. That's all I want you to just, just call in, give me your top five, brother. You know what I'm, I'm trying to see what the people think. We posted, I did an episode, bro. But you ain't never came down here. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga that left me hanging, man. And I gotta see what's up with that with that membership. Might have to, you know what I'm saying, help my brother out, my you know what I'm saying. You fuck, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, I got one, I got one. Do y'all think people date out of boredom and convenience? It's kind of sound like settling. You know what I'm saying? Like you be with somebody for selling. But like, do y'all think somebody just be with somebody because they bored? Now I know I know dudes have sex because they be bored. Like man, you know, I just feel like fucking. I'm just gonna fuck somebody tonight. I know they feel like that, but I don't know about like the dating thing. Dating is a whole different thing. Like I can I couldn't see myself dating somebody because I'm bored and because it's convenient. Because it's way too many out there. Yes, what? Yes to what? To the question I just asked. I don't know. I just I I don't know. Like how does that even? Cause I was listening to some other people talking. They were saying like, "Motherfuckers be bored, so they just be dating folks." I feel like that's how a lot of women are because y'all be having like the food niggas and shit like that. Y'all will y'all really go out on a date with somebody just to use them to eat some. That is crazy. If I don't like you, I don't want to be seen out in public with your ass. Cause now I got to wear it on my jacket. Hey, you was with uh, what's her name? A little weird Adler Jones. See, I can't know. No, nope, that wasn't me. Can't I can't do that. It can never be me. I don't want that on me. And that's where a lot of people got to come in with the discipline. 
I feel like a lot of dudes don't have any dick discipline. They just fuck anybody and anything and anywhere. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all women too. And y'all be having babies by these weird ass niggas. That ain't, that need to be talked about more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all just be fucking anybody and having babies by these niggas. I'm glad I ain't no woman because I have a whole baby cemetery in my backyard. Y'all niggas get me pregnant on <laughs> abortion city. Because ain't no way y'all, the way y'all be crying about niggas on Facebook and y'all still be having these niggas kids. And the thing is like, even y'all niggas too, y'all will complain about a person and then go have another kid with them. Hell no, man. <laughs> and then y'all need to be in relationship with these folks at that. Y'all just be fucking. Just fucking around. That's weird. It's fucking weird. Why do y'all do shit like that? Just wake up to do the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. <sighs> hey, y'all like how I got the uh, the black visionary and the, you know what I'm saying, the logo on the goddamn screen? That shit hard, ain't it? <laughs> I ain't even know I could do that. That's crazy. I'm a motherfucker. I just be doing some shit sometimes, man. A little experiment. <laughs> y'all know I be getting down. Let me see. What else I got from the... Uh, yeah, this this ain't really a sexcapes thing, but I, I kind of put it over there. But tattoos and piercings, it's a, I put down, do they change your opinion on the person? I say yes, because uh, let me sit back up. You know what I'm saying? Let me, I got to get a little bit more comfortable. Uh, let me move this pillow. Pillow all in my goddamn way and shit. I can't even get real comfortable. Let me slouch a little bit, goddamn me. You know what I'm saying? Got me holding up and shit. So... Do tattoos and piercings change your opinion? For me, it was this girl I used to fuck with, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, she a little bad, little light skin, you know what I'm saying? Look, but she got like this crazy ass neck tattoo, like just cover up her whole neck. It's black as hell and shit. It's an ugly ass fucking tattoo. It's like somebody fucked her up and then she just had to keep it because <laughs> it's a tattoo. And that shit, I don't care how, how cute you was before then. You look fucking stupid now. You look like a fucking idiot. Like, come on, man. And another thing is, I feel like when y'all get chest tattoos, y'all really don't be thinking about that shit. Y'all just get that shit. And a lot of y'all be having, like, patchwork tattoos. Like, you don't get patchwork tattoos. Get that get that shit somewhere else. Y'all have, like, the weirdest tattoos here, here, and here. And they just weird as fuck. Like, a goddamn, y'all have a dice, a whole dice game on your left side of y'all chest and a heart on the right side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With a butterfly. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, I might want to see that ugly ass shit when they take your clothes on. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Now I got to look at this ugly ass artwork on you every time we fuck. I'm looking at you every time we fuck. We go to the pool, to the beach. And I got to see this ugly ass shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's fucked up, but it is what it is, man. And stop getting these house nigga tattoos, bro. Go to a fucking shop. Pay the money to get the tattoo, bro. I swear it's not that goddamn hard to go get a fucking tattoo. Y'all be letting these niggas fuck y'all shit up, and that shit look terrible. Somebody got to tell y'all. Ugly ass tattoos. Come on, man. I, f- I think what I think they had like a little a wedding dress rule. Like if if it don't look good in the wedding dress, don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can understand if it's like a, a real uh, cohesive piece across the chest. Even then, that's still a stretch because that shit still be ugly as fuck. Like. I y'all just I just can't fuck with that shit, bro. I don't know what it is. But then back to the piercings and shit. The piercings. The motherfucker be had them. What's them look? The septums. Oh God, I hate them septum piercings. Bro, y'all be pissing me off with them shit. Them shits is ugly as fuck, bro. Why the fuck you get that? You got that fucking. You got a, you like a, you like you get, again you like a fucking bull because that's what it is a fucking bull ring. You look like a fucking idiot. That shit is ugly. You know what I'm saying that shit is ugly. Another thing, what happened? What what, what happened to the the eye piercings, the little eyebrow piercings? Y'all y'all that got rid of those? Y'all don't do those no more? Man, that shit was ugly, but y'all don't do that no more. You know what I'm saying? Lip piercings, I don't know. I ain't never really was a fan of the lip piercings. It's just never been my thing either, man. Like a motherfucker with a lip piercing. I fuck with the nose, the belly button, the clit. What else? That's about it. You know what I'm saying? But though, what's the look? The lower back tattoo? I mean, the lower back uh, piercing? That was cool, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't never fucking nobody like that. I just feel like it's weird to get somewhere somewhere you can't really see it. You know what I'm saying? Because what that shit started bleeding, you ain't gonna fucking know. You just back there 
Shit just bloody all over that shit. The back of your shirt just stained. Motherfuckers gotta tell you, hey, 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 bleeding. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't be thinking about shit like that. Y'all just be getting shit, huh? <laughs> but I tell you, them nose piercings hurt like a motherfucker. I remember I got mine and I had, I think I took my shirt off one day and that motherfucker got stuck on my shirt. Man, I like to cry. Like a baby, nigga. That shit hurt it so bad. That was when that joint was fresh, too. Nah. That was that 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 was a one time thing for me, man. And then they don't, they I think no it don't even matter. Don't even worry about that. I ain't even gonna bring that up, man. I'm gonna keep this one on here though, because I need to talk about that on Sex Case too. I'm giving y'all, you know what I'm saying, a little preview of what's the of what's to come. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all something crazy. Like real crazy. Nah, I feel like y'all don't need to. I think y'all need to go to sex case for that. Okay, what about age gap? Why does it seem like age gap only applies, like the problem with age gap only applies to like black people? Again, another black people topic because, you know, black visionary, but it is what it is. And by that, a white man, older white man can go date a, a 19, 20, 21 year old girl and it's all fine and dandy. And, it's, and, and, and nobody really, okay, hold on, wait, 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 before I get too far. This post on Facebook was about a white, old white man dating a younger black woman. And, of course, everybody had a problem with it because they're like, hey, this old black dude praying on a, on a young chick. But then this woman commented and said, it's different from when an older dude talks to a younger girl from when a younger girl talks to an older dude. And we was like, bro, that's the same thing. And she was like, no, it's not the same thing because we do it for reasons for love and stability. And it's like, nigga, it's the same thing. You just said the same age of people. You said a young girl and an old dude. And we said an old dude and a young girl. It's the same shit. You, you, you're you sounding stupid. You're not paying attention to what you're saying. Now, it'd be different if you would have said an older woman and a young boy, you know what I'm saying? But that ain't what you said. But again, I feel like it's only a thing with black people. It's all, oh, you a predator. You a this, you a that. But when, uh, who was that? Leonardo DiCaprio go get a, a young joint and soon as she turns 23, cut off and go get another one. Nobody say nothing. Motherfuckers marry young chicks all the time. And nobody say nothing. But as soon as a 45-year-old man go get him a 21-year-old, oh, that nigga a creep. He probably was looking at her since she was young or something. Like, you know, I, don't, I don't get that. Y'all be, and, and, and the thing is that they say man will reach they, they peak in a early, late 40s, early 50s. They financial peak, basically, which is when he's the most desirable, I guess. I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm, I'm not there yet. I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? I'm broke. Look at this shit. Look at this. Come on. I'm broke. But anyways, I just think about it that way because it's like, as I said before, I'm 30. So I'm, I'm 30, so I'm going to just, just speak from it from my opinion or side or whatever. If I was to get with somebody that's like a 21, 22-year-old, it would be to teach her the game as far as, you know what I'm saying, credit, saving money, the building, the, the, all that shit, the wealth building and shit. The financial freedom and, and teach her the shit that I should have known or wish I would have known. So, and if she's not, you know, of course, most people ain't ready to have kids by the age. And, and by the time she's ready to have kids, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I'd be a little bit older, but she'd be well, well far, way far from where I started at. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think when, when we talk about it, y'all don't look at it that way. Y'all just think, oh, this nigga trying to be a creep. Come on now. We got to do better, man. We got to help each other. Hey, to y'all that's watching, you know what I'm saying? Put a fire emoji or something in the goddamn comments. You feel me? Got to get them engagements up so we can, you know what I'm saying? Get some more sponsors. And I can hire some more people. And we can turn this bitch the fuck up. That's all I wanted to say on that. I wish I had some... Some more black community shit that we ain't already talked about. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And another thing. This is my last topic. I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. Because I'm going to go. I'm hungry as a bitch. I ain't ate since like goddamn me. 10 o'clock. But. I need to, need to. This is what we need to be talking about more. You all. You can't date the person that you want all the time. Sometimes you got to date the person that you need. 
So you might want the motherfucker that's that right, for like a like a dude. You might want the the slim thick John. You know what I'm saying? No kids, good job and all that shit. Everybody want her. That might not be what you what you need though. What if you an immature ass nigga? You might need you somebody that's gonna you know what I'm saying, help you in that in that in that uh, arena. You might be an impatient ass nigga. That you need somebody that's gonna help you in that arena. Help you learn how to be more patient. You know what I'm saying? You might you might have grown up uh, with no mother or some shit or whatever, whatever the fuck it is. You might need somebody to just show you more nurturing and caring and shit like that. And it might not be the best looking chick. You know what I'm saying? She might not be the light skinned chick you want, the dark skinned chick you want. She might not be the Instagram model. You know what I'm saying? The dude you looking for might not be the fucking six foot nigga you want, the ball player you want. You know what I'm saying? He might be the little ugly ass nigga with the glasses. Y'all feel me? <laughs> with the stupid ass hair, no lining type shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, y'all know what niggas I'm talking about. The nigga that's wearing the Team Jordans. That might be who you need. Now it's up on you to learn, teach this nigga how to get a fucking lining. Teach this nigga Team Jordans is not okay. You feel me? Help my boy out. Hey, this gonna look crazy on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? From this angle, this camera right here, y'all can't see, but this camera right here gonna look crazy from on YouTube. This shit gonna look like a goddamn. Amateur hour But I don't care It's my show I can do what I want to I can sit on the couch With my feet on the fucking couch Cause ain't nobody gonna stop me This is my shit You know what I'm saying <laughs> I pay for this <laughs> You know what I'm saying I can do this all I want to You know what I'm saying But that's all I, That's all I wanted to say I just wanted to get on this motherfucker Cause I ain't did it in a while I'm kinda excited I got a goddamn Goddamn, what you call that shit? A sponsor on the other podcast. So I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, work a little bit harder to get on here. So I ain't no more excuses for me. I'm tired. I just got out of work. I don't feel like editing. You know what I'm saying? I don't got the excuse no more. I done went to school, got the degree. I done went to school. Hopefully I get the certificate because I think this is the last week of class. And I skipped the last two assignments because I ain't want to do that shit. <laughs> so, so who knows? You feel me? Who knows what I'm going to have? But even if I don't give a fuck about that certificate, I got the degree. But like I said, this you know, so now I got more time to dedicate to editing if I need to. Just just no more excuses for me on taking this shit to the next level. You feel me? The only thing I'm really lacking is like more equipment. But that ain't really pertinent to, you know what I'm saying, getting this shit out. But that's been the episode. I fuck with y'all. Y'all fuck with me. Let me find a little song I'm gonna play, you know what I'm saying? Let me give y'all some words of wisdom, man. Uh, let me get my cord first. Give y'all some words of wisdom. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, I know what I'm going to play. I think I know what I'm going to play. No, I don't know what I'm going to play. I'm lying, y'all. I think I might go like, oh, like, goddamn me. Real, real, real old type shit. Too short. I might play some too short on these niggas. The ghetto. I'm talking about the ghetto, the ghetto. But yeah, so a little words of wisdom, man. Look here. Get two of your friends, and they get two of their friends. And they get two of their friends. They get three of their friends. Y'all all all bring in some money. You know what I'm saying? Go buy a a goddamn property. Put it in one person's name. Y'all all all paying on that shit. Pay that shit off. Or pay it down to where, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like 10 of y'all, 15 of y'all at this point. And just do that, you know what I'm saying? Pay that shit out. Boom, knock that out. Go get another property. Hit another nigga name. Do the same thing until all y'all got some properties and shit. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's still popping on all that shit. You know what I mean? Do that with apartments, matter of fact. Get y'all a little nice little complex. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't listening to me. Don't even fucking worry about it, man. Fuck y'all. Black Visionary Podcast.